the Federal Reserve has articulated what it plans to do in 2014. Uh, we don't know by when we're actually going to see those measures decisively. Uh, how do you see that impacting capital flows and consequently the rupee? Uh, well, my, uh, my own feeling is that uh, 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 we are probably given too much importance mm. to what the Fed does. Mm. I think the basic problems in relation to the rupee are domestic, which we need to correct, which we are capable of correcting uh, ourselves. And um, I think that becomes a good uh, um, sort of, uh, what shall I say, a good story mm. uh, in terms of uh, talking. Mm. But I think the real issue is... Uh, the uh, still very high current account deficit, they are talking of 3.7. Sure. I come from an era when 1.5% 1, 1. deficit was considered as uh, the max uh, with which the policy makers were comfortable. Right. So 3.7% is not a comfortable number. And I don't know, two other reports came on 31st. Mm. The uh, external uh, debt is now $400 billion. The mm. net international investment position has improved uh, uh, slightly, partly because uh, of the rupee fall and therefore, uh, uh, you know, the dollar value of uh, the uh, external investments in India mm. has come down. But I think overall, we can't keep on uh, uh, borrowing money or using other people's money forever. I think somewhere the books have to be balanced. And in my view, that one thing that needs is uh, uh, sort of uh, keeping the rupee... Uh, reasonably stable in the real terms, that is inflation adjusted uh, uh, terms, and that too based not on RBI's RER index, but on a far more scientific uh, index which needs to be worked on. Nizam, if you look at the domestic factors, Mr. Rajwadi points out to the fact that the trade deficit remains a matter of concern at this point in time. Governor Rajan says 3% is, is, looks like a more feasible number. Uh, what is your understanding of how the trade deficit is likely to play out and how the rupee, therefore, will react? Yes, I know. I, I, I kind of agree. 35 to 3% kind of deficit in trade and current account is actually the, the more sustainable number for India. Um, well, I, I think the, the key point here is that current account deficit would have to be funded by uh, investment inflows, foreign investment inflows. And if you can promise reform or, or you can push through reform that will uh, invite more capital inflows through investment, then you can sustain a reasonably high uh, deficit. So the question is, um, you know, on, on both sides, right? Uh, current account, I think, is, is, uh, has to fall further, has to fall to around about 3% for it to be sustainable. Mm -hmm. And for that to be sustainable, sustainable as well, you need uh, FDI inflows. Without the FDI inflows, then, you know, uh, effectively we are really saying uh, you need uh, zero um, current account deficit. So one is funding the other. Um, and, and I think for now, uh, we have not hit that uh, stable, uh, point of stability yet. And therefore, I'm still looking for the rupee to fall to around about 66 um, uh, through 2014. Sure. Mr. Rajwadi, you know, the, the rupee currently trading at about 61.80 levels. Uh, we saw it plunge as much as 68, 68, 68.84, in fact, in the month of August. I have seen experts calling a range anywhere from 55 to 63. Uh, what's, what's the range that you would think uh, would, would, would be a practical range in, in 2014? Uh, well, I, it is very, very difficult to predict. I think there are too many uncertainties in regard to the fiscal deficit, the election uncertainties, the political uh, um, uh, scenario that is uh, developing. I think it's very difficult to uh, predict any range. But uh, I would expect uh, uh, the rupee to be nearer 70 rather than 60 uh, over 2014. Uh, Nizam, your own range? Yes, likewise, uh, my forecast, uh, like I said, till the end of the year, I'm looking for 66, uh, but definitely uh, closer to 70 than, than 60. I don't think 60 will, will be breached to the downside as well uh, throughout the year. I think we are probably seeing uh, a level that is uh, as, as good as, as it can get. And I've been uh, advising clients to start to hedge um, dollar exposures going forward from these levels.